seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. I'm what's called an ultra marathon runner. So I run distances longer than a conventional marathon distance. I've run across the USA, for example. Actually from Chrissy Field here in San Francisco, I remember starting there, uh, dipping my feet in the water and then running over the bridge and ending in New York a few months later. I was hoping to run across Antarctica later that year, but due to logistical reasons, it wasn't going to happen. And finally, Antarctica was supposed to happen in November 2017. And uh, I was training for it, I was running over 100 miles a week. Quite well prepared for it, having run across three continents in the previous three years. And I was on a routine run back in Ireland, in Galway. I just went out one evening for a run and uh, I felt my knee go, my left knee. Uh, it literally went from under me. You know, I went for an MRI to both knees and there was a lot of damage in both of them. Uh, but it was my left knee that was hurting me. That ended the Antarctica ambitions in 2017 and I had to start on a, on a new process of trying to fix my leg. So Richard is a great example of someone who's been told that they have knee arthritis, should stop running, should wait for their total joint replacement and give up the exercises that they like to do in life. He sought us out because we have a different philosophy. You know, I couldn't believe it. I could talk to him on the phone, the guy himself, and, and he was able to review my MRI. Unlike the previous advice I got where he actually said, you know, what do you want out of this? And I said, I want to run across America again. And he pretty much said, I'll get you back doing that. You know, I was bone on bone on my left medial part of my leg. So he went through the, you know, what he was going to do and, uh, he, you know, the surgery was going to, you know, was going to be robotic surgery, and sure enough, uh, he did it, and my leg was perfect. So Richard had medial arthritis, meaning arthritis just on the inside of his knee. In fact, in both knees. So he started with his worst knee, and did a partial knee replacement. And by doing that, he was able to come back to his full running program, except for the fact that his opposite knee was limiting him didn't even involve any long decision making for me. You know, he's the closest thing to God when it comes to the knee as far as I'm concerned. Uh, once my right knee produced pain in the last year, you know, it was an obvious choice for me to come back here and get this fixed. So this week, we went ahead and repaired his opposite knee, which required both of our skills. A biologic knee replacement, meaning we had to repair his damaged articular cartilage in the outside part of his knee, which we did with something called an articular cartilage paste graft, and a partial knee replacement, resurfacing the inside part of the knee where he had worn it down to bone on bone. I mean, before, before this, you know, I was limping, walking my dog. You know, nobody should be doing that in their 50s and nobody should accept that that's their lot um, because there are solutions and, you know, the proof is here. Now I'm able to run again. I'm able to organize events like this and run around while I'm down here. Just over a week ago, I climbed the highest volcano in the world at 22,549 feet in the Andes and none of this would have been possible without Dr. Stone. So, big shout out to Dr. Stone. Thank you for getting me down here. Get me back on the road. It's so good. It's almost like I wish I was born with it. it. The surgery isn't the end of something. It's the beginning of something new and positive. You know, once you have the solution, and I know I have the solution, you know, that's what you look towards, the future. Mm -hmm.